We're making treats today, guys. Easy caramel apples. And I mean easy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Welcome to day seven of 31 days in the attic. I have made it basically an entire week, seven days. I didn't, I wasn't even sure if I would make it this far, but I'm still going strong. So here we go, day seven of 31 days in the attic. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Like I said, we're gonna do, switch it up a little bit every day. Today we are going to be making some treats. We're going to be making caramel apples. Apples are such a staple of fall and candy apples in general, whether they're the um, old fashioned candy apples, the red ones, the caramel ones, the chocolate ones, whatever the hell you wanna put in an apple, I will usually eat it. I love candy apples. So today we're going to make some caramel apples, but we're going to make easy ones. So if you were looking for a recipe where you make to make homemade caramel, this is not, this is not, that channel, okay? This is not that. We are actually going to be melting down some candy. That's how we're going to do it. These things should be really, really, really easy. Now, if you are somebody that is looking how to make like homemade caramel, there are a ton of recipes out there. This was actually one of the only ones that I could find that was, um, did not include making caramel from scratch. Because to be honest with you, like, I don't have, I think a lot of us are in the same boat where we either have jobs or school or whatever, family uh, responsibilities, and you just don't have a lot of time. But if you can make something that's truly easy, then hey, why not? And um, like I said, I might be, you know, I love caramel apples, so if I can come home and do this fast, this might be a snack that, um. I may make again. So this snack is actually, this recipe is actually called Easy Caramel Apples. Straight to the point, I like that. And it comes to us from Cooking Classy, and I will link it down below. But basically, it takes three ingredients. So we're going to use some caramel candy. Now, you, I have the Werther's original, and actually in the recipe, and <laughs> the price tag's on it. Anyway, actually in the recipe they tell you this is a good one to use, Werther's Original. We're going to melt them down. So, I already opened the bag and put them in the bowl, which is why it's open. But, so you need a bag of caramels, you need some heavy cream, and you need apples, whoever you want to make, and you need sticks for the apples, and I think that's it. And of course you need your toppings. So, we're going to, ha going to go ahead and we're going to try to make these things. Um, in case you were interested, caramel apples apparently started in 1950-something. I don't know, the 1950s. And they are credited to a guy who worked for Kraft Food Service. He was trying to look for something to do with the leftover caramel. So he melted it down and he dipped apples in it. And caramel apples were born, apparently. But is there anything in this life that doesn't have controversy, even in the world of candy apples? caramel apples, there is controversy because people say that are not the first caramel apples, that caramel apples date way back before that, but that was just like the first time they became popular. So who the hell knows? I don't know when caramel apples started, but that's the story. So with that guys, let's go ahead. Let's try to make us some apples. Okay guys, so we are back and I am going to make four apples and Whenever you make like um, anything with like sugar in apples or anything like sweet with apples, they always tell you to use like a Granny Smith. Like if you're gonna make candy apples or if you're gonna make like pie or tarts, whatever you would make with an apple, they always tell you to use the Granny Smith ones. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but Granny Smiths are like tart. So you probably wouldn't like eat them on their own. I mean, some people do, but they're like, they're just like really good with sweet because it like sets each other off. Where if you were to use a sweet apple and you were like make a pie or something, then you would have like sweet apples in the pie. It's just a little too sweet. Or the same thing here. If we were going to like dip sweet apples in caramel, it might be a little too sweet. So they tell you to use the Granny Smith ones because the tartness and the sweetness kind of come together nicely. So I have these sticks 
that I bought on Amazon for this purpose, the um, they're like pointed on one side. So they're supposed to like go in, I guess, easier. And I've already like washed the apples. I think you put them on this side. I don't know if it matters, but we'll see. Okay, so I guess that's all there is to it. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's in there that good. All right. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. So same thing. We're going to put stick in. And then we're gonna melt the caramel in the microwave. So what it says to do is to just melt it for 30 seconds until it's in, like in intervals of 30 seconds until it's fully melted and it should be, take about two minutes. And you wanna, after every 30 seconds, I guess they're not gonna come out. Can you imagine if I messed up candy apple, like these candy apples? Like, I mean, <laughs> there's literally the word easy in the recipe. Can you imagine if I do something and just like, okay, so let me, let me oh, you know what, maybe that's it. I'm t I was putting it like down the core, I guess it's okay, but if you put it like towards a little bit past it, then they just go in much easier. Oh my God. I can't even, I'm gonna re redo this one because this one I think is, yeah. Okay, so there you go. So I, I actually did manage to mess this up, the first part of it. All right, hopefully things go a little bit better. So like I said, it's if you try to like put the sticks down the core, I've never made candy apples before, obviously. If you try to put the sticks down the core, it's like a little hard. So if you just put it like off to the side, the sticks go in significantly easier. Okay, so that part is out of the way. So what I'm gonna do now is I will melt in the microwave. This is my caramel. So I basically took the bag and I unwrapped it and I put it all in the bowl. And like I said, we're supposed to melt this in the microwave for 30 second intervals and then you stir it until it's completely done like completely melted and that should take about two to three minutes and you're supposed to put heavy cream in it so this is a heavy cream that I have it doesn't really say how much it just says in like in part of the recipe it says at one point she does say that she used one tablespoon for two apples so maybe I'm making four so I guess I just I'll just use a tablespoon also and then I have my toppings I have some chopped peanuts and I have some sprinkles so we're gonna dip them and then we're going to put toppings on. Oh, and I also have a piece of, like a plastic plate with some parchment paper. That's for like afterwards. After we dip them, we'll put them on there and they're supposed to go in the fridge for like, I think it said 30 minutes, something like that. So, I mean, you could get very creative here with toppings. I kind of wish I had done something a little bit more interesting now, but anyway. It's okay. So we have a half a, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of heavy cream in. There we go. And that's that. And yeah, I'll go do it in the microwave. I will go heat this up in the microwave and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this, I have to tell you, this is one minute. Um, the recipe said that it would take like two to three minutes. I can't even imagine like within one minute this was like bubbling and really hot. So we'll try to dip an apple and then if I have to reheat it, I have to reheat it. But for now we're gonna try. Okay, so let's go ahead. <laughs> let's do this. I'm like totally excited. And we'll try the nuts first. I wanna get the whole thing like, the whole process. I want to get a shot, a shot of the whole process. Okay, so I'm going to stir it. And I think you have to kind of do it like quick, right? So that, sorry, so that you kind of get it on. Okay. So we're going to take an apple and there we go. Is it coating it? Oh. Okay, see, I told you. How do I mess this up? <laughs> the, the caramel is actually like thicker 
than um, it looked. So it is kind of easy. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to reheat it, basically. Like, that's the thing. Maybe you have to like reheat it after you do, oh my God. Only I would mess this up. Maybe you have to like reheat it after you do um, each each apple because they kind of get stuck. So what I'll do here, I mean, it's not bad. That's it, that's a candy apple, but it's like half a candy apple and the stick is falling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like try to put the stick back in. And, okay. Kinda let it go off, drip off, and I'm going to roll it in the peanuts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what, actually it looks good. It doesn't look bad. I'm not a professional, folks, okay? Not by any means. I think it's gonna fall over. <laughs> oh my goodness, let, let me show you. There it is. But it, it's, it's balancing, it's holding on. You know, I guess it has to harden fast so that it like sticks. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna put it back in the microwave. Maybe that's why you're supposed to leave it in so long. We're gonna put it back in the microwave and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a whole apple out of it. And I'll make one with sprinkles. I don't know if I'm gonna even have enough caramel to do four. All right, give me a second, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back and I did the same thing. I melted it down for like 30 seconds and it really, really bubbles. When you melt it down for 30 seconds, it like really bubbles. So I'm stirring it and we're gonna try to do it again. And let's see, I'm gonna take this guy. I already feel like disaster coming up. <laughs> all right, all right, this one I think is going a little better. I'm actually like getting it around, but I'm still not really coating it. This is so pathetic. I think maybe a deeper bowl, <laughs> like, cause you're supposed to get like the whole apple, right? Aren't you supposed to get like the whole apple? I don't know. All right, well. This is not easy. I mean, it looks like it should, ooh. It looks like it should be really easy, but it's not. There's the sprinkles. Oh, it's pretty though. I think if I could get the caramel like a higher on the apple, that would be like, That'd be half the battle right there. That would be ideal. Okay, let's put him on the parchment paper. So, <laughs> here's the thing. With this channel, guys. With this channel, I hope I never ever give you the idea that this is a tutorial channel. Because <laughs> it certainly isn't. This is just me trying stuff and seeing if I can do it, basically. Like, I'm not, you know... <laughs> I don't have tutorial on anything. All right, guys, here's the thing that I will tell you, quite frankly, this one bag of caramels is enough for two apples, I think. I'm going to put it back in the microwave and we'll see if we can get three. But if you're looking to make like a couple of these, I or like even like four of them, like I, there's no way I'm going to get four out of this one bag. So I think I was kind of lucky to get two. Um, I'm going to put this back in the microwave and see if I can make one more. Okay, so guys, the best that I can do now is just try to like do, put it on with the spoon. Cause it's just not enough. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm sorry, I know I'm out of, I'm out of camera shot. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. One bag is enough for two. It really didn't say that. I thought I would get at least like, I thought I would at least get four. So one bag of caramel is only good for two apples. That's it. Um, and you gotta be freaking ready to dip these things like immediately because the caramel gets like really, really, really hard.
really fast. So yeah, we're not gonna have enough for three. So I tried, we're only gonna have enough for two. And when I say two, I mean two half. <laughs> They're like half caramel apples. All right, so we made half caramel apples. I don't know, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the... Fr oh, this side looks better. <laughs> this side looks... They don't look bad. I'm going to put them in the fridge. I'm going to let them sit for half an hour. And then we'll go ahead and try them. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to wrap it up. It is getting kind of late here. <laughs> but anyway, there you have it. So they didn't come out bad, actually. The, the, let me, I'm going to try them before I give you my final thoughts, or I'm going to try one. But yeah, so I made two candy apples. I made one with, I'll show you the good side. And when I mean the good side, because at least it's more than halfway covered on this side. Um, I made one with peanuts, and I made one with sprinkles. Here, this is this guy's good side. So when you look at the good side, now keep in mind, this was my first attempt, okay? I know it's not like rocket science, but still. Anything you've never done before can sometimes, you know, be not easy. And it kind of, a lot of it fell to the bottom, but I think that's true in all, um, all candy apple situations. So there you have it. So there's like the good side. So <laughs> that's kind of the the crappy side so i'm gonna go ahead and try a piece and see how it came out and then um we'll do like final thoughts so let me see i guess i'll try the sprinkle one <laughs> god I'm telling you all right well it's kind of hard to cut because, like, it went, like I said, the caramel kind of fell to the bottom. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is definitely not a professional job. Okay. So. That's what we're dealing with. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of yummy. But, yeah. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I have thoughts. It's good. It's really good. And I will have a snack tonight. The problem is, there's multiple problems here, but I am willing to take like 99% of the blame. I'm so glad I didn't make this caramel from scratch. I think that would have been a bigger disaster. I mean... This is good. The problem is the caramel is too thick. It's not too thick, like, it's too thick on the apple. I think that's why I only ended up with enough for two apples. I think the layer is supposed to be thinner. But I couldn't seem to do that because I, as soon as I took it out of the microwave, I did dip it. I did stir it until I was ready to dip it. And even then, I felt like as soon as I put the apple in, it was, like, so, like, thick and, like, hard to hard to maneuver so I think you kind of have to be like waiting outside the microwave and like ready like ready to go like the second it comes out of the microwave and like it stops bubbling you like maybe stir it a couple times and dip it and then put it back in the microwave that's the only way I could think of to do this that you can get like a thinner coating of caramel it tastes really good it's pretty yummy but it's thick so they're hard to cut, and I only had enough for two apples. And even then, like, it kind of, like, fell to the bottom. So, okay, it was a learning experience. Would I do the, would I try this again? I might try this again. I might, because I do really like caramel apples, and like I said, it tastes really good. But I think I would seriously, like I said, I would kind of try to wait outside the microwave and, like, um... And, and and really like be ready to dip. Now, if that didn't work or if I had the same problem, then I think I might give up on this. Um, I think one, ba one bag of caramels per two apples is a little, I thought I would get more out of it. But then again, maybe that's normal. I don't know, like I said, this is the first time I've done this. Was it fun? 
it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun. And um, yeah, maybe next time I'll be a little bit wiser or maybe not. Maybe they won't come out any better. But you know what? Like I said, they're tasty and now I have a snack for tonight. So it kind of is a win-win situation no matter how you look at it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed episode seven. It was seven, right? Of 31 Days in the Attic. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you make candy apples or if you buy them. I think that might be the road I go down. Uh, like I said, I'll try it again, but yeah, I think I might be just one of those people that is destined to buy caramel apples in the future. But let me know. Let me know if you've ever made anything like this. Let me know if you tried it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, 31 Days in the Attic, episode 7. And I will see you tomorrow night for another episode. I'll see you tomorrow night for episode 8. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.